Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to import and export customer invoices and vendor bill in Odoo 16. Although the purpose of importing customer invoices and vendor bill is to efficiently and accurately enter large volumes of financial transactions into the system. Odoo is an ERP software that helps business to manage various aspects of their operations including accounting and finances. You can export and import customer invoices and vendor bills for sales and purchase module respectively. I'm going to give you an example of importing and exporting of customer invoices at vendor bills through accounting module. So let me get into the accounting module and when you go to the customers under uh, that you can choose the invoices here we can see different invoices and we can download uh, the entire invoices by clicking on this export icon. So this will export all the fields that are currently available here. Now, if you want to upload the customer invoice, uh, then you can just click on upload. Uh, so that this would let you to choose the file from your system and you can upload this uh, to the record set of uh, like uh, to the customer invoices. So if you want to export certain fields, you can uh, just export that. For that, you have to choose uh, one of the customer invoice as you choose one of the customer invoice from the list of customer invoices you can see a button called action will be triggered here now when you click on export this would let you to add the export so we can export the data in different format uh, such as it can be excel uh, format and csv format and uh, here we can also choose like i want to update the data import compact table so this uh, would let you to like no manual mapping of uh, fields are required there if you enable uh, like I want to update uh, the data import compatible export and you can also uh, see that it will get the external ID and you can change uh, using external ID and import data create without creating any duplicate data and here uh, let me show you an example for that so let me uh, remove all the fields right now from here and I only require certain field. So I want a partner field right now in order to add the partner name. So here just uh, search for partner. So you can see we can see the partner. This will be the customer in the invoice. Uh, I mean in the customer invoice. And you can also get the payment terms. So here we can choose different payment terms are there in order to make the payment for the customers. So you can just uh, search for the payment terms and you will get that here you can see the payment term with its uh, field name as payment term uh, id and uh, after that i need to get the journal items so let me search for the journal items and you can see uh, the journal over here and certain fields are shown in bold color because they will be considering as a header of uh, the yeah the uh, data that we want to uh, import and export now i also need to get the currency in the customer invoice so you can choose that and here i only need to get uh, the yeah if you want to get the customer uh, id or name you can choose that so let me uh, choose the cu currency that is uh, with its id or name and now i also need to get some mandatory details such as the informations available in the invoice so let me search for uh, invoice lines so you can add invoice lines directly over here or you can just unfold this invoice lines and this would allow you to add uh, different records such as account that is in the invoice and we also need to get uh, the uh, product okay uh, let me search for the product so this will be in uh, yeah uh, alphabetic order and you can uh, easily get all the details that is in the invoice so i need to get the uh, product details that is in the invoice so let me choose uh, the invoice lines and now after this only i need to get uh, the account details uh, okay so that's we have added uh, like so and now i need to know the quantity of the product so in order to get the quantity of the product uh, in the invoice you can choose that field so as you choose that field uh, like you can 
select it from uh, by clicking on plus icon so that that field will be moving from the available fields and to the side of fields to export and you can see as we have added a field that field will be shown in the uh, plus icon now you also need to get the unit of measurement of each product so let me just drag down and i need to get the unit price as well as the unit uh, of measurement so let me drag down and here you can see you can add the uh, unit of measures that we used in the invoice lines and unit price now i'm going to export uh, the fields so you just click on export field and this would allow you to export the data now you can see as we have exported with the compactable data uh, you can see uh, the fields name will be shown as partner id invoice terms if you are not mapping this compactable data then you might be getting uh, the header in the direct way that we have given in the customer invoice like uh, customer name uh, payment terms journal and all and i don't really need this id so let me remove this field right now you can just delete this field and here you can change the name of partner so let me uh, change it as uh, joby and here you can set uh, a payment term let it be 15 days and you can also uh, see the journal associated with our customer invoice will be always customer invoices and you can see the uh, currency and if you want to uh, get other product details you can get that uh, or you can add a new product over here so uh, let me add a new uh, product which is uh, mic so currently mic is a new product that i'm going to add and let me add a invoice line uh, account that to be affected in the invoice line and you can also give the uh, invoice line quantity and you can set uh, the unit so currently i'm uh, taking the unit of measurement has the units and you can also set uh, the price of this so let me set it as six uh i mean 60 and yeah we have that much field only now let me save this data and you can either use uh, the xls format uh, or anything we have uh, i mean we are converting with the xls data now you can just upload this so in order to upload this you can just go to uh, the auto platform and let me close this session and before that if you want to get this certain field with a particular template you can get a particular template for this so let's see how can we create a new template in order to create uh, this fields for a particular template you can just click on new template and here you can give uh, the name of the template so let it be customer invoices so um, i could the, use this uh, template as many as times i want and i can also make uh, manipulations like i can either modify the data by adding or removing the fields that i want so let me uh, choose customer invoice as the name and you can just click on save so we can see uh, when you uh, choose this you can see that certain fields have uh, added into a template so we can use this at any time now uh, when you just go to new you can see a uh, new uh, as a template that contains certain fields and uh, when you want to get other uh, certain fields you can choose custom invoices so that will be containing these we need fields and now let me close this okay now let's see how can we import all the fields that we have exported now in order to do that you may dive into the favorites and choose import records and this would allow you to upload a file that means we are going to upload a file uh, now you can uh, go to the downloads and here you would be able to see the journal that we have downloaded and you can just open that file and as we have chosen the field as um, compatible or uh, i mean uh, compatible uh, updation of data you can see the fields are automatically updated here and here we also need to uh, give the currency name okay that hasn't uh, mapped yet so you can choose the currency over here and let me click on test and you can see we have certain error like no matching record found for your company job in field uh, like uh, partner at multiple records and uh, here we can choose different option like we can either skip a record so that that uh, record will be skipping 
and if you want to create a new value from this you can choose that so let me create a new value and uh, here you can see uh, no matching found for 15 days payment because uh, like we haven't given any payment term and we are creating a new payment term so you can uh, choose either skip this or set that field as empty or prevent uh, import of this record or create this as a new value and here we can also see we don't have a product mic in the invoice line and we are giving a new product as mic so i need to create a new value again and now let me uh, click on test again now you can see everything seems to be valid because we are creating a new record for all these things and now we can import the invoice and just click on import and this would allow you to import the data so once you import the data you can see that uh, imported data or record will be created in draft state even if the imported record might be a confirmed invoice okay but this is used uh, in a situation where we might be moving our uh, set of records or set of customer invoices from the previous device to a new device um, and so while uploading this data we can make a close check in the data and you can see uh, finally a record has imported with all the products that we have created and you can see all the details that we have added in the invoice lines and uh, from here you can also see a new product mic is automatically configured here and you can also set uh, the product type and all directly from uh, the importing of data currently uh, i haven't choose those fields to set the product type and all so that's why it is set as consumable product and if you want to change the type of product here you can change it as uh, storable and you can just save and let me back and you can see we have done with the importing and exporting of customer invoices and finally you can just confirm your invoice so this is how we manage with the importing and exporting of customer invoices in odo 60 and you can see the vendables under vendor tab so here we can see all the vendables that are currently available you can either directly download the entire vendables that are currently available in the odo platform by clicking on this icon this would allow you to get the vendable. So currently you can see we have three vendables that are exported right now. So let me save this uh, in Excel format and you can also upload this file. So this is not for importing the vendables that we have. This is just to upload the record set of the vendable that we have. So when you uh, just choose that file and click on the file that you want to upload, just open that and you can see a file is uploaded which is being uh, digitalized but you can see we may not get the proper details such as the winter bill, reference number, winter name, bill date, due date, reference activity, tax and many more details that we want to view in this bills. So let's see how can we import and export that. So for that you can choose one of the bill from this list and as you choose the bill uh, Bill, you can see an action button is automatically triggered here and you can just click on export and this would allow you to export the file. We can export the files in two format that can be CSV or XLSX. Okay. And we can also see that the fields that are currently available and the fields to export. And if you want to update the data that is uh, import compatible and export compatible, you can enable this. So the advantage of using uh, update uh, data import compatible and export is that will get the external ID and you can make changes using external ID and import data without creating duplication in the data as well as you don't need any manual intervention for mapping of the required field. Now you can also create a template for this and you can save that. So we have already discussed about how to create a template. Uh, so you can watch the customer invoices video to see that. Now I have already created a template for vendables. So these are the fields that are currently available. I mean that I need to export uh, which is a partner ID and uh, part, uh, payment terms, journal, currency, invoice lines and accounts uh, like uh, the product in the invoice lines, the quantity in the invoice lines and unit of measurement. So when I click on export, you can see that a file will be uh, just exported uh, with all the fields uh, that I have just used. And I don't require this ID field, so let me remove this. And you can see 
um, the partner ID, invoice, payment terms ID, journal, everything is shown here. The headers are shown in uh, like field ID names because we have set uh, to update the data compactable, uh, like import compactable and export compactable. Now let's see how can we uh, import the vendor bill. So in order to import the vendor bill, let me change the uh, name of the partner and let me plot a new uh, data. So uh, let me give the partner name as Joel and let me save this. So once you save this, you can just navigate into the Odoo platform to see how can you import a data. In order to import a data, you can just move on to the favorites and click on import records. This would allow you to import the vendor bit. Now you can choose the file that you want to import. Just choose the file, which is journal entry. And let me open that. And uh, you can see all the fields are uh, mapped here automatically because we have set update data import compactable and export okay so let me click on test and you can see a few errors are shown here because we are choosing a new partner in the vendor bill because we are just importing a new partner as well as a new record set into the order platform so here you can see we don't have a partner called joel so we can either uh, prevent this import or we can set that field as empty or we can just skip that record trip importing also we can create a new record so if i'm choosing create a new uh, value then a new partner will be created there now let me click on test and you can see everything seems to be valid and let's click on import and you can see one record has imported there and we have got all the details that is the amount of the tax included the tax excluded and every state once you just upload a vendor bill or a data, you can see that that will be in its trap state and you can just click on confirm uh, by setting the bill date. And you can see this is pretty cool and easy to just add a vendor um, details. So let me click on and confirm this. And you can see an employee will be automatically created here with its uh, name. So this is how we manage in the importing and exporting of vendor bills in Odoo 16. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.